Welcome back to the channel guys. This is GB Speaks Facts and today I'm here to speak some facts. And this video is a shorter one guys, but this doesn't mean it's any less caring. We still got some crazies here to roast guys, so don't worry. And in my opinion, one of them is the most entitled, short for brains out of all Karens we've ever covered so far. So stay tuned and watch to the end. Trust me. We just hit our 400 sub goal, so thank you very much for everyone who's showing support. We are trying to reach 500, so please click that subscribe button like the video to help spread awareness about the species that is karen but enough of that let's jump right into the video i am losing my goddamn mind there is an ambulance in the building there is a business they could park in they could block the car lane they could block the non-existent motorcycles park lane By far, this is probably literally the biggest, most entitled, not so smart Karen we've ever covered on this channel. She just told an ambulance they are killing people. <laughs> Oh my days, you can't make this up, guys. You could have gone around the freaking ambulance, lady. Let's start off there. The amount of time it took you to do that, you would have been home by now. Like, she tries to get the license plate. Like, that's gonna do something. Like, this is the same face we are all having right now. Like, literally, I feel her. I feel so bad for her. So let me get this straight. You went into the store to cause havoc upon the employees because of ketchup. It's like these carrots are possessed when they go into Karen mode or something. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Just from observing them cheeks, they do tell a bit of a story. She does look like a lady who is into great fitness and them shoulders are looking a little bulky too as well. But with that being said, if you are worrying about too much ketchup on your McDonald's burger, then you should not be eating McDonald's at all, let alone a cheat day in general. Like, honestly, hold this L, Ketchup Karen. Your new name is Ketchup Karen. And here is a clip of Ketchup Karen trying to justify her Karenism behavior. Let's take a look. So I wanted to come out and publicly let everyone know that that was me in the video. After this video was published on TikTok, it went viral and news organizations wrote about me. And I honestly have no idea. I am simply baffled that this is possible, people found out where I work and they sent the video to my employer. I was then fired from my job. That's right, I was fired, which I find to be extremely unfair because all I was doing was going to get my weekly cheat meal 
And it was the McDonald's employees that did not follow the simple directions that I asked for. So I felt that I had the right to come in and let them know that my burger was not made correctly. I did nothing wrong. Literally, I did nothing wrong. So please leave me alone. This is extremely unfair of you guys to do this to me. Thank you. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? Now, I don't think she should have lost her job, but you should remember in 2023, watch your actions because there are cameras out everywhere, especially if you are a Karen. But I hope the Mickey D's was worth it. African American is on? Because of what I've seen so many If you saw a corner, if you saw, if you saw a corner, there has been a my family. That was Sunday. So therefore, we have family out of town. We have military people that are in our family. My mother, my father, my sister's father. We are a close knit family. Like, like, like that's very so what you will not do is disrespect this house where we pay. You will what you will not do. So well, you can. My neighborhood. There, there's, there's no. There's here five. Yeah. So what? You so want, what? You want, oh, I've been waiting to run into a Karen. I've been waiting to run into, run into no one of you. No, I've been waiting to run into one of you. See those police. Those Okay, don't, don't disrespect her. Don't disrespect her. Yeah, no, no, that's what she wants you to do. It's don't okay. give her what she wants. No, what right. you will not do. I'm, here. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, so you can march back to your residence. Tell me where. Go back to your residence. Bye. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I got you on camera. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I got you on camera. Go ahead. Karen. Bye. 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 Call him. Matter of fact, y'all call the police. Call the police, Diddy. Every neighborhood what's gonna happen. Nothing. I'm sorry. The accent, the red face, this Karen was probably holding back the N-word trap card with all her might. Like, the fact that they told you the reason for the gathering, and you still wanted to make a fit and show your lack of sympathy, and dare I argue also empathy. Or possibly, was it because of the type of people having the gathering? Is that why she doesn't care? Hmm. Also, get this, guys. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. I think we need to place Karens in a different category of species. I, I don't know, man. But what do you guys think? Which one of these Karens takes the award for the most annoying Karen? I vote the first one as I am still speechless how entitled and dare I say idiotic you are to tell an ambulance worker they are harming or trying to kill people. Like You just can't make this shit up. But if you want to vote for Ketchup Karen or Jeffrey Dahmer, you are free to do so as well. But just leave it in the comments below. The Karen hunt never stops. So let me get back to finding more videos for y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you got this far without doing so and like the video or you will turn to a Karen when the clock hits 12 and I wouldn't try to risk it guys so as always GB out this bitch peace